I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. In 2003, me and two of my best friends from college set out to make our first feature film. This is that story. Rise of the Undead was shot for around $4,000. Um, we finished the edit in 2005 and it was released by York Entertainment. And stick around towards the end because I'm going to break down what the business side of it was as well. And I have a couple of very special, well, some moderately special guests. Jay Brandon Mahan and Shannon Hubble. So you just want a wave file, right? Yeah, wave's fine. And you want to do a countdown before? Sure. Testing, testing. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, mine's working. So am I supposed to count something down? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's <laughs> what we do in our podcast. I don't know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Those are fancy. Just for shits and giggles, it makes us feel better. Okay. Good All right. So five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Bam. Go f yourself. I don't yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know how that helped, but <laughs> do you guys realize that this year it's this it's almost twenty years since we shot Rise of the Undead? Stop it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, uh I and correct me if I'm wrong because I was actually trying to remember this today. Was it the summer of two thousand three or was it two thousand four? I think we shot in two thousand three. Yeah, it was 2003 yeah. because I graduated in 2004, and it was a year. I, I still had a year left to school. Because I remember, I, I technically graduated 2003, but I held on to the. I didn't collect my diploma, uh, and and I took out student loans for the the, the <laughs> semester in 2004 to help pay for some of the movie. Well played. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What's your recollection of how this came together? That's a good question. I don't even remember it was okay shannon it was yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding go ahead go ahead go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> as far as i can I, I just remember the three of us just wanting to make a movie and everything too and it was just kind of i think we we didn't want to be those guys that are just always talking about making the movies like i'm going to be this person i want to make this and everything too and like I, I feel just we kind of had the drive to do it and everything too so we just put together the script and everything too and maxed out some credit cards and, and went plowed through <laughs> it's it's funny i don't i don't remember that at all but but the sentiment sounds exactly like something we would say yes, you know the yes. like we, we don't want to be the people not doing something which is like my my been my mantra for the last 15 years yeah like i just i don't want to be the person that's just sitting around talking like let's do it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Do, do you remember anything about it shannon like yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, basically the same as far as uh, the the general impetus to just go ahead and make a feature. And I actually remember hearing like uh, secondhand that some of the uh, the grad students at uh, UNL were apparently giving a shit. Like, what are these undergrads doing? Making a trying to make a feature. <laughs> so we, we were nothing if not ambitious. What I do remember specifically about what we made in particular is I, I still have an irrational affection for P Peter Himes' The Relic. Yeah. We were talking about that, and Jason, you're like, well, let's do, like, a creature feature in, like, a building. Like, I just stick with that. I'm like, yeah, sold. I'm there. You know, <laughs> like, like <laughs> you, you sold me on The Relic Connection, of all things. Do you guys remember how we put the script together? I, I mean, I, I vaguely remember writing some of it. I know we were writing in like Word. It wasn't even a screenwriting program. Yeah. We were just like, just typing it out. Do, do you remember the process at all? Well, to be honest with you, for me, I, I rewatched it again this morning for the first time and I can't remember how long and everything oh, too. And I was surprised to see that I had a writing credit on it. <laughs> 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 because I remember it was mostly you two and everything too. I might have like, I might have, you guys might have passed it to me a couple of times and I was like, eh, let's maybe change this. And you probably were like, eh, what the <laughs> You know, that's exactly how I give producer credits now. <laughs> well, what, what I remember is uh, we just did like a handoff process. I think we, we, we had general sense of, as much as we did, we had a general sense of where we were going with it. And, uh, and we'd hand it back and forth and then we'd, uh, we took turns doing rewrites like polish right. it up and whatnot yeah yeah that's that's basically how i remember and i i remember if i'm not mistaken the and i was trying to find the script the other day and i i don't think it exists anywhere 
I think it was like 65 pages or something like that, if I remember right. And yeah. I, 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 and I remember the, the justification was we were like, well, it's horror. We'll, we'll stretch it out with the suspense. Yeah. No, no. And I remember like near the end of uh, post-production, we were worrying about whether it actually hit an hour 30. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like whether it actually yeah, yeah, qualify yeah. as as a as a feature. You know? So <laughs> Yeah. How, uh, how slow was our credit roll? I can't remember. It was really <laughs> I, okay. I, I haven't I haven't looked at it in a long time, but I remember I timed it at one point and I, I think it was close to ten minutes the, the ending <laughs> credits. <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, oh, oh plus uh Brandon's uh post credit stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never forget that. <laughs> I was like, did, you shot that yourself, didn't you? Like, like afterwards, like way afterwards. Yeah, like just just Brandon against a wall, I believe. Just like staring yeah. at a camera for. <laughs> yeah. We wanted to add a couple more seconds. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll go. The, the we'll... sequel that never happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Didn't we say at the very end? Didn't it say something like uh, "Look for Jim in like Shelter Two or some shit"? I think we did that. Yeah. It was like a James Bond thing at yeah. the time. And, and, and we it? also thank the. Uh, uh, film board of toronto I, I know you know that's something i've done in almost every movie i, yes. I kind of <laughs> i lost track i lost track of it on the documentaries but up until i started doing documentaries almost every single feature i did thank the toronto film commission any 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 particular reason toronto or no it was just uh, i forget what movie we were watching but a lot of movies were shooting in toronto at the time it's cheap to, it's cheap to shoot okay. their taxes yeah and stuff like so it's yeah. just yeah. it seemed like every movie we watched was like thanks to the Toronto Film Commission. So we just thought it was funny. Yeah, like like it, low to mid budget genre fair mostly has like the Toronto thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as far as, uh, and we talked a little bit about finding, uh, maxing out some credit cards, but uh, I, I was trying to remember, if I remember right, like financially, like y you ended up shouldering a little bit more than we did, didn't you, Brandon? Yeah, I think I had one or two credit cards. I pretty much maxed out and everything too. So it took me a few years to, to uh, catch up with that one and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you, and you were, you were like buying like the, you were doing helping like buying the food. You were like, like paying for the actor's haircut when he needed it. Right? Yeah. I, I remember probably buying some food. I remember, I do remember paying the actors. I'm sure there was some other stuff in between though, but those are the two things that I remember. Kara, my, my wife, she was, she handled some of the food. That everything was... I remember that too. The only thing I remember financially is prior to shooting you know we wanted to shoot on the panasonic dvx 100 the first 24p mini dv camera so i bought one on ebay and got ripped yes. off and like uh the address was somewhere in la and uh, like a la sheriff when i went by and they were like it's not even a real address so <laughs> i forget how much but it was like close to a thousand dollars or maybe yeah, a little yeah. over and then i lost that and then we had a friend, gosh, Eric, Eric, Eric Vall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he, he had bought a Panasonic and we basically rented it from him. Yeah. Like he was living in California, but he shipped it to us. And, and if I remember right, like, I, I think we pretty much paid for the camera. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause, I, like, think cause, so. I, cause yeah. I think the, I think the cameras were like, like fourteen hundred dollars, and I think we paid like twelve hundred or something to rent yeah, it, or something, yeah. something kind of ridiculous. But. Although we did shoot, um, like when we shot the trailer later on for Doomsgate, didn't we shoot on that as yeah, well? We had, was that the we, same yeah, we had camera. Or? It might, it might have been the same camera. We we had it for a really long time because like yeah. he he shipped it to us, and then he was in college or he had started work or something. He didn't need it. So yeah. I, I think we had it for like four or five months, if yeah. I remember, or maybe longer. That's the only thing I rem really remember being out, and the and maybe the maybe the self storage place. Although I can't I can't remember who paid for that. I mean, and, and that was just basically we we basically rented out a space like a practice space, and yeah, they just they and they gave us the run of the facility. Yeah, we hours. yes, yeah. it was a it, so it was a five story self so storage facility, and they rented out the top two or three floors to bands basically, and uh, we had we went and talked to the manager, and uh, they said, yeah, we'd love to have you shoot here, but we just need you to rent a room, and I think it was like it was like eighty bucks a month or something. It was something sounds about ridiculously right. low. Did, 
Did we actually rent a room? I was yeah. just thinking that. Yeah. I was just okay. I was just thinking that was a uh, Rob's, ba- Rob and Danae's band room. So. Oh, no, 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 okay. no. Yeah, no, we no, rented like, it. Like, the, the room we rented out was the uh, was the exposition room. We had the yeah, uh, okay. on and everything. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I remember that. So, do either of you guys remember how many days we shot for? I think it was like maybe a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. I was thinking around seven to ten days, yeah. I, yeah, I was, I, it seemed. I, I, I wanted to say five, but I, I do think it was more. I think yeah. it was yeah, seven no, it was, to ten was, days. Yeah, that sounds about I right. Because yeah. I remember it was during the summer, and that summer I just started. I was still working at Starbucks at the time, and I just started interning at a video post production house as well too. So I yeah, was video Jones. Yeah, video Jones. I was mostly going on about four hours of sleep every every single day and everything because yeah. I would because we would shoot to about five or six in the morning. I'd get home, crash about seven, and then I'd have to be at Video Jones about one o'clock and everything. I, I think I did take a few days off from Starbucks and everything yeah. too, but I was still yeah. working. Uh, yeah, Video Jones. You know, you know, it's it's funny at, at the time. I remember kind of giving you shit about being tired, you know, and like, mm-hmm. you know, complaining about the, you know, burning the candle at both ends, yeah. you know, cause you know, we were just like college kids. We yeah, were like, yeah. whatever, early twenties, yeah. mid twenties, 30, I guess. Years later, you know, I did it a couple of yeah. times and then I was like, oh man, I, sh- I never should have said shit. There's, there's no way in hell I would do that again. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just yeah, remember, I, uh, you know, we'd shoot all night and, and, and I would crash on the couch at you and Brandy's place. Basically. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, that. So I was basically yeah. staying with you guys the entire shoot, and also we were living off of um, oh, what was it? The uh, the the Weight Watchers or no, Slim no, no, Fast? No. <laughs> Slim Fast. Fast. Yeah, we I've, yeah, I've told Slim that story a, a few times. Yeah, that was so <laughs> stupid. So stupid. I mean, that was, I mean, there were so many just little dumb things that we did that had nothing oh, yeah. to do with making the movie. Like you know, yeah, yeah. we so basically what he's saying we we decided like we didn't want to take the time to eat. You know, so we just yeah. bought tons of stuff. Because we're that fast. intense. Yeah. <laughs> I like, what the and I told, and I remember it was like, what was like t- two or three days in, and like it went really south with the slim yeah. fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. Um, so, like with the self storage facility, so they were still like open for regular business hours, but they would close at like, I don't know, like 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., something like that. Mm-hmm. And then we had complete run of the entire building from, you know, whatever, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. when they opened up. Except for the bands we were practicing. So, so part for of the a storage facility, but it was also, uh, it was also like uh, band practice spaces and whatnot. So it would be in the middle of a, a take and all of a sudden, do, 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 from upstairs. Like, yeah, I do, I have, do remember lots of pauses for that. And I remember sending uh, uh, Blaine upstairs to to like ask them to like could you guys stop for 15 minutes yeah this one, you know? was this blind fully clothed or blind fully naked? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think i think when he went up there he was clothed so for context here for lane Cade, who, who uh, uh worked on this uh worked on this with us um he was a assistant director right okay I, I believe that was his role. <laughs> I don't remember. That, that may have been one of his roles. Okay. Yeah. But but he also had a uh, scene in this big zombie horde scene where he's the naked zombie. For no um, good reason. Yeah. And it's like he, he comes running at the camera and whatnot. And it ended up like, so he's like naked surrounded like, by like 50 people like that. <laughs> and the way that we ended up framing it, you couldn't see that he was actually full frontal nude. Yeah. Like, you couldn't actually see it. But the funniest thing is when we were in the editing room, so we were shooting that with a glide cam. So I'd be shooting it, pulling back and whatnot, and then we'd do cut, and then the glide cam would would droop down, <laughs> and it would just be a shot of Blaine's dick. <laughs> so every single take of that shot was just like, it's like, okay, that looks good, Blaine's dick. <laughs> I remember, should, didn't didn't we do that like that was like one of the first days wasn't it like yeah. the no no we, we we jumped into the deep end yeah. like we started off the movie yes. the shoot with like like the huge like we got a lot of extras for that yeah you got uh, like, like like half of New Orleans hipsters showed up to play zombies yeah, yeah I was this, gonna ask, who who got all the who who got all the extras to come it was Rob. Rob 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 okay yeah yeah, yeah. rest in peace and that, that's what that's yeah rest in peace rest in peace love that man. Uh, I mean, that's part of why he was uh, he was uh, uh, credited as zombie wrangler. 
Oh, that's uh, right. Wow. So yeah, you remember more than I do. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I re- I the only thing I remember from the first day, like, so I remember we. I mean, when he says fifty people, it's not an exaggeration. We had probably 50, 60 people on set with the crew. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I remember starting to set up those things, and like, I I had a little bit of a breakdown. Like I didn't yeah. know, like yeah. I like I was so overwhelmed that I just like I almost like went into a fetal position. It yeah. was uh, Henderson uh, Jones that actually snapped oh, yeah. me out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, he, Anderson, yeah. yeah, yeah. He did it in kind of a dickhead way, but he, but it, it was, it helped. It worked. You know, it was like tough yeah. love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but he, he was well, a gruff individual. And 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 we, uh, I mean, yeah. Like I said, we jumped into that real fast. Like for some reason, scheduling like the most complicated shit at the beginning of the shoot. Yeah, and yeah, first thing. And it was also summer in New Orleans, uh, in an, a non air conditioned location. And uh, we had all these extras waiting around for us to get our asses together to mm-hmm. shoot. <laughs> uh, like, like, it's amazing that we kept so many people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we that. didn't lose a lot, if I remember right. Yeah. Like, like, people were really into it. Yeah. And I remember thinking, because, you know, I shot a couple of zombie movies after, and I was like, oh, zombie wrangling is no problem, man. Everybody wants to be a zombie. It's no, yeah. no problem. <laughs> Last one I did, I mean, dude, we, we had, uh, on death day, we had, Oh, shit. I mean, I and we tried. And I mean, I think we had like maybe 12 people like yeah. in, in any one shot. And, and the, the kind of crappy thing about that scene for us in the movie is that we had all those extras and the way we shot it, like it doesn't play Mm-mm. that there are that many people there because it, it, it was a yeah. narrow hallway. So like so it's this huge horde of zombies. Yeah. And yeah, you just yeah. see like the first like four rows of them, maybe. And then, yeah, yeah we could have yeah. probably been fine with 10. So. Yeah. 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 And I, I, and I think even like, like halfway through it, one of us articulated articulated it. That's something you know, like we could have done this with like seven people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we finished like pretty much without incident. We had a, we had some trouble with like building security at one point. Yeah. Remember we had like that gung ho, like a uh, security guy who, yeah he was gave us all kinds of static until like the second or third day we asked him to be a zombie and he brought his family in and then I he was our I didn't then he was that. our best oh, friend shit. yeah <laughs> cuz like he was going to he was talking about shutting us down and like this oh, and that shit. and like he was giving us all kinds of trouble i i remember um somebody on a floor that we weren't on had busted some lights like i was uh, about to yeah. say like a fluorescent light yeah, yeah fluorescent yeah. light and we weren't even anywhere near that floor yeah. And he, but he came in saying it was us, and you know, or I'm gonna get you kicked out of here. Remember we? Because well, we I went remember home walking and, up to you as you were cleaning it up, like you were yeah. actually cleaning. Yeah, up Yeah, I cleaned it up because I was you, worried. And you just, yeah. you just looked like doomed. Like I think we're done here. Yeah, because right? well, yeah. the the very next day, the building manager called us in. If you remember, we had no sleep. We pretty much went from set. Like I think we were home for like a few minutes, and then we had to come back at nine to mm-hmm. like see if we we're going to get kicked out or not and we ended up working it out like the building manager was cool the guy was just you know he was puffing his chest yeah. he, uh, he was a mall cop being a yes mall cop. yeah and yeah. we were in yeah. his territory and he yeah. was not happy with it but as soon as we gave him that part like he, he was like his eyes lit up he like ran downstairs like made some calls uh like his wife and kids were there a few minutes later and they're they're they were in the movie and then they were all cool. <laughs> you guys remember so po- post production? How did? How, what's your guys' memory of that? Uh, trial and error. Trial and error. It was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh no, we had that whole false start. Oh my like, god! We, yes. Yeah. The, the, like, yeah. The, uh, Brandon, didn't your computer die in the middle? Oh, I of thought. Our... No, it was yours, wasn't it? No, that was. Brandon. No, I, I thought it was, it was Brand- mine. That was my drive. Oh, I thought yeah. it was. I thought it we was... finished on Brandon's. No. No. Because nah, actually, like about ten on... feet away is the computer that we finished it on. I have it still. Well, wait, because the G five. Yeah. I could have, I could have sworn at one point we were editing at, or I like I was, I was coming over to to Shannon's place in uh mm-hmm. in uh downtown New Orleans, and yeah. was working, and the the hard drive like froze up, and like we had to get a that, new one. That was Brandon's. That, that was Brandon's. Yeah, that but was we mine. had it at your house. Yeah, and then after that, it was at my house, and then oh. at our house when we moved in together and whatnot. Oh. Yeah, because okay. then because uh, hence wow, my parents yeah. having a, a, a having producer credits, they bought me the G five to finish editing. 
I do remember we had like uh, almost a full rough cut complete, I wanted to say. And yeah. then the, the hard yeah. drive just crashed and we were obviously not backing up properly. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, mean, we filled the drive up and we weren't yeah. backing up. And to then, show, yeah, yeah, show how amateur we were at the time. Yeah. So like <laughs> yeah, no we had a, we had a five, we had, no, it wasn't even five. It was like a 200 gig hard drive. And we completely yeah, like like, just maxed it out. It was like, you oh, know, yeah. 199.9 gigs used. And it just, it just, <laughs> it, it had it no off. chance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember like going home and almost crying because yeah. I, I, we had spent like a good, like six months, I think, something like that, working on the post. It was like, a, it was a while. It was a few months. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was, definitely it was a, a few, few months. months at Brandon's and then, and then we had to restart. Uh, yeah with my machine at my place and then and then at our place um, okay okay and, that, and that's where we finished it okay yeah. i could yeah i didn't i i thought i remember doing some finishing stuff at the uptown place but i i couldn't i couldn't remember yeah i do and remember I, no, no, we did we did a bunch of stuff at the uptown place yeah. Yeah. yeah so all the stuff that where i was editing at brandon's house that was all what we lost yeah yes yeah. Uh, we lost okay. everything from that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. oh that sucks yeah. The thing I just remembered from uh, post production when I was still at my place in the quarter, which I still miss that apartment. That was a great apartment. That I mean, was it was so it cool. was it was tiny. It was just like it was uh, actually so it's about closet. the it was about the size of uh, my last studio in Hollywood. But yeah. but yeah, it was great. I mean, yeah, like 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 uh, uh, nineteen eighteen uh, hundreds uh, uh, slave quarters apartment in the French Quarter. Like yeah. it was. Um, with a great courtyard, I was on the third floor with like rickety wood stairs going up to it, and there, were, yep. like there were pigeons everywhere, like a John Woo movie. I, I'm glad for that movie, kind of early on, because like we did all that, like kind of uh, you know silly like film student like stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. like no, oh, yeah. no, uh, no holds barred. Just yeah, you know. just goofiness. Yeah, yeah, and, and tons of uh, and tons of uh, influence references. Oh yeah, like like when there's no more room in hell. Is oh my yeah. god, I know. Yeah, yeah. There's yes. a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference. Oh, like, couple. Oh no, no, couple. no. The character's named Buffy. The so, couple. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, that was all me, and I I I apologize for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> just, I mean, I still thing. love Buffy, but it was so like yeah. ham fisted. Yeah. Well, 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 actually, said, "Oh, I like that show." Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 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 Mark, Mark's character says that. Like, oh, that's right. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I forgot. I honestly haven't watched it in a few years. One one outtake that I do remember was from the. Uh, I think it was when uh, uh, Leonard was was chopping one of the one of the zombies with an axe, and I remember it like mm -hmm. it was just like way over the top chopping him with the axe, and I can't remember yep. who, but someone was like off camera, just like shooting blood. like blood and everything too like and i don't and i think some one of the the mixtures that we had was like a soap because i just remember like bubbles, the bubbles. Like going by <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we, the bubbles. And, and we even in the final product we couldn't completely get it out like i yeah, remember yeah. shannon shannon going like frame by frame in photoshop and trying oh to God. paint out the bubble <laughs> And let me just say that my skills at post-production uh, effects work, not have, there. Have they, not they, there yet. They, they've went downhill <laughs> since. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I, mean, I was actually thinking recently as far as, like, the effects work. Uh, it was good for the time. For the time, but also, I mean, I mean, good for the time in terms of <laughs> the time for me doing it, trying yes. to figure the shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, it was only, like, it was actually, like, uh, when I was evacuated from Katrina, uh, I was doing more and more stuff with uh, After Effects, and then I finally found out about nested compositions. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, and I had no idea during that <laughs> during that process. And so I'd render things, and then take in the renders, and then add things on top of the renders. Oh wow! Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. I mean, I didn't know shit about it back then. I mean, I, I just, I, know, I had no you know, you'd spend time, and then I'd see something. I didn't know how it was being done. Like, like literally, like six months later, after we'd finished it and everything, I was, oh crap! What, this what is the a whole hell was world. I doing? Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do you guys remember uh, doing the premiere thing at the Shim Sham? Was that what yeah. we did? Yeah, that yes. was. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I, I remember in particular, um, oh, what's the name of the guy um, who had us, helped us do that? Um, Billy? Always wore a, wore a hat. 
I know, but he had like he he'd do a triple feature movie thing at the Shim Sham, and we were friends with him. And Man, he uh, and he's like, hey, do you want to do like the middle movie? Uh, That's yes, right. And, and the first way. movie was uh, Shaun of the Shaun Dead. Of the Dead. Fr- yes, yes. Which, 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 which was before it came out in the U.S. Yeah. He had it on uh, on video CD. He had yep. to swap it out yep. mid movie. Um, and but I remember him bringing that over so we could watch it to see if we wanted to, to show that before ours. Like, yeah. Oh my God, this is great. This is a brilliant yeah. movie. <laughs> no, we need we need to show this. Wait, we're leading into our movie with this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Terrible idea. Yeah. Like I, I, I See, actually I remember at the at, like at that premiere. Um, so like half of the people from my mom's church show up. My family shows up. <laughs> They're all these like 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 middle aged elderly hippy dippy folks who show up at the Shim Sham for a zombie movie. Um, and afterwards. Um, you know, we're by the door, we're like saying hi to people, greeting people as they go back out and whatnot. And, uh, and my mom comes up like, oh yeah, you, you guys did a great job. Did a great job. Also, Shaun of the Dead was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's funny because of that, my uncle, because at that point it was not called Resident Evil Dead. It was still called, uh, Shelter, colon, a monster movie. Right. My uncle got, uh, I guess he found online a, a, a one of the posters we had made and he uh, a, c- a couple of months later he gave me a coffee mug oh that's with the, nice. with the, with the shelter a monster movie poster on it i still have it I, <laughs> nice. the shelter a monster movie still exists on imdb too yeah like, really? it has, has, has a separate project you know like at, at some point i i remember because i you can't delete projects you know, and when we when we created uh, it has Rise of the Undead, it created a different listing instead oh, of just wow. updating the old that. one. So Shelter still exists, but at one point I was like, I didn't want it to have the same synopsis. I wanted it to look like something else, so I made up a synopsis. And it's for like Shelter? for Shelter, yeah. <laughs> so like, if you look it up on IMDb, it's like it's about like five five criminals uh like riding out a hurricane like uh, katrina or something like that and like and like dude, it, it's basically hurricane heist you know <laughs> but way before there's there's some film nerd somewhere it's like i can't find this movie anywhere <laughs> like so you know s- several years later like how, how do you how do you feel about it like like honestly like I, oh i'll go first so when i look at it now i have trouble watching it you know, like I, I, I'm proud of it for hey, we did it, we got it done. But like, I, I have a hard time setting through it. Um, yeah. when, when's the last time you tried to watch it? Uh, well, it's been it's been uh, several years at least. Since yeah. I, I do have it on DVD sitting right over there. But yeah, me too. Yeah, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Uh, but again, exactly like you, I'm really, really damn proud. Like yeah. That, a bunch of like, you know, we're 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 a couple of. Uh, of uh, UNO film undergrads who went ahead and said and made a feature film and then finished it. Yeah. And yeah. actually got released. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. we didn't see a dime from it, whatever, you know? Yeah. It's, it's still, we, we did it watching it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I like, it's obvious that we didn't do nearly enough revisions, nearly enough. Yeah. Uh, pre-production. Um, we were winging it, yeah, so much. All, all the way through. Whether it's production, whether it was post, whether it was the writing, yeah. like r- yeah. literally, kind of the moral of the story. Like we, like we just wanted to make a movie, and we didn't really, we didn't know what, we didn't know what it was. We just, we just forced yeah, it into existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, to do something. <laughs> and, yeah. and and the problem is that, like you know, it's like sometimes that kind of uh, thing can. Like the 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 end result of that might not be like super great, but it would be like energetic and entertaining. I think the main problem with it is that it's too slow and talky. Like, yeah. yeah. The, the 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 like the first part of the film is just so talky, needlessly. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was also just during production, during production we were so under the gun as far as time that we ended up ha- most of those scenes shooting like our coverage was like two angles of the entire room 
Yeah. And yeah, right. We do like, it like from one side, then the other side, and that was pretty much it. Maybe it. maybe that's a it. close up here or there, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there was a couple yeah. there was a couple that didn't. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember. I mean, we like we obviously got more uh more creative when we got to the actual action stuff. Um Yeah. And and I think that that stuff is still like I think it's fun. Yeah. yeah, I actually like I like the those the zombie sequence. I can sit there and watch it. It's only about ten minutes of the movie, but you yeah. know, it's yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 I think it was closer to about twenty or twenty five because I just watched since I just really? watched it this morning and everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh what the zombie sequence? From... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 the zombie sequence as a whole. Not yeah, like... yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Like, through, I was, like, through, I was thinking through, the through when yeah, you yeah. killed yeah. uh Sky. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I actually still kinda like that scene too. And I, from my perspective, because like, like I said, I haven't, I watched it this morning for the first mm. time in, I don't know, 15, maybe 10, 15 years, something wow. like that. So it's, it's been a long time and everything too, because mm -hmm. I know from my perspective, it was, it was always kind of hard for me to go back because it's me on screen. Everything oh too. yeah. So, I didn't even so think about little, that. So it was a little harder for me to go back. It's like, I wasn't super happy with the performance and everything too. But at the same time, like I, like I, I, like I watched it this morning and everything too. And I was and like I think in my head, like I had it something else, but like I watched it this morning, I was like, it's, this isn't as bad as I as, as I, yeah, I had it in my head. I, yeah, I I, well I should pro I should probably watch it. I mean, it's been a long time since I've watched it. Yeah, and yeah. And, like, and like you said, like it's 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 not an Oscar worthy movie by any means whatsoever. But it was yeah. it was a trial and error for us, and it mm -hmm. was kind of a it was something we just wanted to to do at the time and everything too. And like, I'm proud that we did it and everything. And, uh, and, and, and it's ambitious as shit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's really fucking ambitious. And, and that's something that, uh, I, I more and more appreciate like, mm -hmm. like work that, you know, I the, might not necessarily like that all that much, but it's ambitious. So I just have to give it love and, and you know, like, yeah, no, and it was a good learning experience for all of us, I think, too. So we, oh, yeah. we, we, we learned no what kidding. to do and what not to do and everything, too. So Look. don't take on 50 extras on the first day of shooting. <laughs> and, it, and if you do, actually shoot them. Yeah, right. shoot, yes. I don't know. Well, you know, if, I guess I I guess I kind of learned. But, like, I, there, there's a couple of mistakes on that one that I've repeated kind of over and over. <laughs> Like I like I do I, like we're we're just saying it as a positive the taking on like you know too much or biting off more than you can chew, but I t I tend to keep doing that on super low budget movies like yeah. you know like my my reach always you know uh, or my what grasp on oh, ash shit, however that saying goes, yeah. but you know what I'm saying, yeah. and I just you know I did it with uh, uh, Edges of Darkness after that. You know, which I which I still feel was a slightly better movie, but it, it was it was still like I was trying to make a million dollar movie for twenty grand. Yeah, you know, and, and I've I've repeated that cycle a few times. I, I will say, like watching it, I didn't. Like I said, it's been 10, 15 years. I'd completely forgotten about Mark's character uh, in the movie. Oh, Karim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got he's some, got some great lines in that. Yeah. Like as I actually wrote, wrote down a couple, it was like, uh, it was, I love pills that would crack me up. And then the, my favorite was, uh, if I wasn't in a K hole right now, I'd be really freaked out. Yes, yes, <laughs> that yes. is a good line. That's the. I was hoping you were gonna say that yes. one. Yes. I love yes. that line. It cracked me up. <laughs> Yeah, and he and he was a he was a legitimately pretty good actor too. Like he yeah, he's he, great. he was coming out of uh, L.A. right, and he had moved back to New yeah. Orleans. Yeah, and he he would like he had done some Mountain Dew commercial or something out here. Yeah, yeah. I think the strongest performances in there was was probably Mark Leonard and and Whitney. I think those yeah. were probably the three strongest performances, definitely. Yeah, and yeah, you know, it was kind of it was kind of funny to uh, to watch. Uh, uh, Leonard's performance as well. Too. Is it Leonard or Leonard or Leonard? Leonard. Okay. Leonard. Uh, yeah. And uh, okay. And uh, uh, he goes by Lenny. Lenny. Okay. It, it was yeah. funny to to watch his performance now because I think he's a preacher now or or, yeah. or something yeah. like that. And you you could kind of see that a little bit in his performance yeah. as well you too. Can. So I was like, oh, okay, so I see oh, that oh, coming oh, out. A little bit. He does have the best improv in the entire movie. The the one line. What's my favorite line to this day. Which I was going to bring that it, up. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's right after Brandon wakes up from his zombie dream and whatnot. And and Leonard comes along and is like, okay, come on, let's get going. Like, oh, monsters, Firestorm. 
got to take a shit. Yes. He's oh, walking yeah, 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 yeah. Like, this is not scripted at all. <laughs> like, like, okay, you know, that's our take. That's our that, take right That now. was going to be a question mark. I didn't think that was in the script, but I wasn't. It was I not. Wasn't, no, it was no, not. That was, was all him. Yeah. That was yeah, all cause, him. Yeah, because I remember walking walking away, away with him on, in that scene, just like, I had, I had to hold my... <laughs> I, I was holding the camera. I was like... <laughs> Do you, do you guys remember delivering the movie to uh, York Entertainment? Like, you remember all the trouble we went through trying to get, like, a some kind of deck? Like, we were trying to deliver it on beta or something like that? Because, like, th- this was yeah. back in this was back in 2005, and they were asking for a master copy on DigiBeta, if I remember right. It was DigiBeta. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was some some tape format. Was, and we just could we, oh, yeah. we had so much. It was trouble. a big ass like yeah, and it, like yeah, it cost- the, uh, the like the the renders kept like failing, like like we we went to a like a local company to do it, and it just kept failing over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. And, and even when we finally got it printed the tape, we had no way to actually play the tape and check it, so we just kind of sent it off. Like yeah, I hope so. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you remember we had authored a DVD. You know, just for like screening purposes. I know what you're talking about. So York him. York Entertainment just put out the screener. Yeah, like they yeah. never like they never they, they they never did it. Like the the DVD menu that I made is what's on one. the release DVD. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 it actually says on the uh, on the box special features. Oh, I no. didn't even remember. No and there, there, no, there's nothing. Yeah. There were no special features. <laughs> yeah, because we, did, cause they, yeah, we. Did what a, would they be? <laughs> yeah, well, didn't didn't we we did a we recorded a commentary. We did. Like, yeah, we, we did. had a commentary. I don't think we had much behind the scenes, but we had a few things, and then we had the commentary, and they didn't they didn't use any of it. They just yeah. they just duped the DVD and put it out. I think there is a trailer on the DVD. That's the special feature. So. Yeah, it, it, yes. yeah, it was a pretty special trailer. Yeah. I, I I think that trailer ended up getting flagged <laughs> on my uh my YouTube and got pulled down a little while ago. If oh I really? I, I think so. It's gone. Yeah, I mean I don't remember deleting it. <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, like I was just thinking about like behind the scenes things. Two things that occurs to me. Like there are a bunch of photos of uh, of zombies getting the makeup done. Yeah. Um, which includes uh, Sunshine, Sunshine Bond. Yeah, Sunshine. Who, who, who showed up for the first night for that? Yeah. Uh, 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 like the the big crowd scene, and whatnot, and she kept showing up. Yeah, she was great. So she, she we is killed great. her Sorry. three times. We, we killed <laughs> That's her right. three times on camera. <laughs> That's right. I just what I remember vividly. I just I remember the behind the scenes shot really vividly of her with like blood all over her mouth, going like. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know exactly what you're I talking about. I remember that about. shot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, for for those those grad students that were uh they were uh, talking shit about us and everything too. They they ended up being our underlings. They, they, one was the DP, one was the yep. audio guys. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Uh Hen- Henderson like let us borrow yep. his glide cam. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and and also like you know not to not to throw stones, but you know none of them none of them did film stuff. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. Yeah, except for <laughs> except for Shannon. <laughs> Do you guys remember doing the screening at somebody's house? It was like for a bunch of it was a bunch of UNO film people. I think it was mm-hmm. like the grad student people. But I just I just remember them like being really quiet. Like, like nobody really said anything because nobody wanted to be a dick. But, yeah. but I remember, I remember them. But a couple of them went out and made their own movie the next year. You know, like we inspired them to finish their thing. So initially, when we were first going to do it, like we were doing everything down the middle. I think that's where the uh, producer credit, or the writer credit, came from for you, Brandon. Because at one point, weren't we all directing? I want to say just you two were always just directing because since I was one of the actors in it, as I, well. I thought there was a point when we were going to do it, but then we had the discussion and we were like, "Well, since yeah. he's acting, maybe that we should direct it." And to I be a hundred percent honest, I think my ego kicked in a little bit, and I just didn't want to split it three ways. Yeah, <laughs> two was enough. So. To be, yeah. to yeah. be honest, yeah. and, and so basically, Jason chose me over Brandon. So <laughs> that's the point. Know. That that's the point of the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and so like the way we directed, if I remember right too, like you, you pretty much, you did camera all the way through because I didn't know shit about cameras. And I remember I was kind of talking to the actors and you were doing the shots. That was kind of our delineation. Yeah. But, but yeah, pretty much. we stepped all over everything, but. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. We, we, we went back and forth about that. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. also I, I talked shit about uh, the the grad students earlier. It's like uh, uh, Ryan was was really cool though. So yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm Ryan still I'm awesome. still I'm still friendly with Ryan. Well, at least I am you know, like well. fa Facebook friendly. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he, he's uh, always no, no, been same a cool here. Guy, so. yeah. yeah, Ryan's great. I mean, and and in retrospect, I think that a better way of doing it was to, just to have had Ryan be DP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. not and then, have my hand on camera at all, and yeah. we could have worked closer, more closely. Yeah. Yeah, I worked on, more on, on coverage and, you know, yeah. some, like, directing stuff. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. totally. Because I mean, basically, like, like, for a lot of that, I was just yeah, running camera. Yeah. You're like, finding an angle, running camera. And that, you know, that ain't directing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, if I, if, if, if like, remember, looking back on it, and like I said, I haven't actually watched it in a while. But I remember the last time I looked at it, like, one of the things I actually did admire about it was, like, the the general composition like like, oh, yeah. like generally and i and i've said this a few times in the past but i always thought you had a really good compositional eye yeah. like and Thank and you. i and i feel like a lot of a lot of stuff that i've done later in my career i like i mean i i emulate some of that you know oh. like, i do i yeah. always yeah I always, I always thought you had a good eye that Thank was something you, I was noticing much. as well, too, watching it again today. It was like, I was kind of like, oh, these, these, these are kind of, it's not just like straight on shots. It was a lot of yeah, like, they a were lot well of stuff composed. Kind of like Dutch angles and everything, too. So it made it a little bit more interesting yeah. and a lot, a lot of different angles. The way like we that. had the foot. Although with the Dutch angles, we were making fun of it at the time because it was yeah. like the Batman TV show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But even some of those really long shots where we only had two angles, but the angles were good. Again, I'm really proud that we pulled that off at that time where we were. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I want to return to that kind of shit. So, yeah. You know, you know like, like n nowadays I'm more on the, 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 the tip of, uh, of writing about movies. Yeah. You know, I'd like to get back into. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd, lo I'd like to see you making stuff, you know, I, I'd like to work on stuff, you know. So we shot Rise of the Undead in the summer of 2003. We finished the edit in late 2004, and then the movie was distributed by York Entertainment in 2005. And we never saw a dime from it. At the time, York Entertainment required that we delivered the movie on DigiBeta, which we did do at great expense to ourselves. And as it turned out, they never even used it. If you find the movie on DVD today, it's an exact clone of the DVD screener that I'd sent to them in the first place. They never used the DigiBeta. They never used any of the extras we prepared. No commentary, no behind the scenes, nothing. Just a bare bones first play DVD. They did do some decent cover art and it got a pretty robust DVD release. It was in all the blockbuster videos and Hollywood videos and Walmart, but we never saw a dime from them. The only thing we ever got was one single royalty report, which we got about a year and a half after the movie was released. I don't recall exactly what the sales numbers were, but they were nowhere close to the $50,000 sales cap that they had specified in the contract. Several years later, I think it was seven years, after the rights reverted back, uh, I tried to re-release it on Prime Video Direct, but it was based, I didn't even have a full res copy of it anymore. I just had the DVD, which I had to rip. So I put it up there, like this old SD version, complete with interlaced lines and everything. It was, it was actually kind of embarrassing. And then maybe a year or two later, Amazon purged it. And it's pretty hard to find now. There may be a few used copies on Amazon or eBay, but it's not streaming anywhere as far as I know. The only place that I can tell you for sure you can see it is on my Patreon. So business-wise, Rise of the Undead was pretty much a bust, but it did give me the confidence to move forward in my career in Los Angeles.
And let me know in the comments below if you're liking these longer videos with the special guests. Um, I'm planning to do a few more of these and mix them in with my usual shorter content. But whatever you do, keep making movies.